awkwardly wondering what Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen's net worth is in 2023, saying, The Olsen twins, cuz IT takes two, have a lot of moolah in the bank, and it's definitely more than the rest of us can make in a New York minute, huh? Let's get into it. Mary-Kate and Ashley starred as Michelle Tanner on Full House, aka one of the greatest 90s shows ever. And according to People via the Washington Post, they started out earning $2,400 per episode, which was later increased to $25,000 per episode and then eventually jumped up to $80,000 per episode. Cool, yes, that's very similar to the $1.50 I made from my childhood lemonade stand, so I totally relate to this. Please don't forget that Mary-Kate and Ash were also in a series of Oscar-robbed films, including It Takes Two and Double, Double, Toil and Trouble. It's unclear what they took home from each of these amazing movies, but if they were making $80,000 per episode of Full House, let's assume it was a lot. In 2007, Forbes put Mary-Kate and Ashley on its richest women in entertainment list and estimated that their combined net worth was $100 million. This was in part due to them, presiding over a casual retail empire, do all-star entertainment group, dot that sold $1 billion worth of merchandise for year online and in Walmart. Literally, I am floored. Mary Kate and Ashley launched the Roback in 2006, and in 2019 Business of Fashion reported that the company generates between $100 million and $200 million a year in sales. That is, so much money. Meanwhile, they're less fancy, as in, you can buy it at good old Kohl's brand. Elizabeth and James, has an estimated annual revenue of $89 million. Mary Kate and her ex Olivier Sarkozy owned some extremely snazzy New York townhouses during their marriage, including one place worth $6.5 million, which they listed for $8.3 million, and another worth a truly whopping $13.5 million. According to Vanity Fair, this massive NYC townhouse has a straight up ballroom inside it, not to mention five bedrooms. Seven fireplaces for supremely cozy vibes, a private garage, a rarity in New York City, and some fancy view of a Medici fountain, modeled off the one in Rome. Because if you can't go on a vacation in Italy, you might as well bring a vacation in Italy to you. TVD on who got this sweet place in Mary Kate and Olivier's divorce. Also, in case you're curious about Mary Kate's post split by, a source told Entertainment Tonight back in January 2021 that she relieved this divorce is behind her. And it's a new year and she's ready for a fresh start without this weighing her down. Also, please be advised that despite a rocky start, the divorce proceedings ultimately went well and there's no bad blood between them now. Oh, you yeah, know, just a totally regular and normal $250 million each or $500 million combined. No wonder Mary Kate's prenup was ironclad. Dang. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube Chanel Jack CN24. Thank you for watching.